Hi, my name is Tobias Carter. I am going to be telling you about Henry Derger. Henry Derger was considered a very unique person because he everyone thought he was mentally challenged or he didn't like any people. He was just a loner. But truly, he loved he loved children. He loved people around him. He just didn't trust because of his young age. So I'm going to start from the beauty. From the beginning. As a child, Henry Durger um, had no friends. Father wasn't around due to the fact that he was lame. He was in an uh, area or a house that they took care of people like that. Everyone thought he was mentally challenged. The teacher didn't like him. Kids didn't like him. They fought him. He had to defend himself. He only had one real friend. And I'll get back to that later. Then, as a middle or at the beginning of his early life, after the teenhood and more into like the 20s, he was trying to find jobs and he found a job as a cleaner. And the nuns <laughs> threatened to take him back to the insane asylum that he was originally at and he ha- ended up running away from. But they, they kept threatening him, but he knew that they wouldn't because the people wouldn't take him back because they knew he was smarter. I mean, if you're in an insane asylum, what are you going to do? You're going to, like, stay there. You're not, you don't think of escaping and then finding a job and providing for yourself. You think of escaping and just sitting somewhere. So, then, after that, he chose to get the job still. He's working there. Got drafted in the army. Um, He was mostly a loner. After work, he went straight to his um, landowner's house where she would say hi kind of thing. And he would talk about weather because that's all he talked about. He talked about weather, and he talked about some, and he only, that's it. It. If he talked about anything else, it's because he kept pressuring him. After that, he would go straight into his room, and he would paint, or he would draw, or he would find newspapers. That's why people ended up seeing him looking through garbage. When he looked through garbage, he would find bottle caps, newspapers, rubber bands or anything else he could find that would be useful during his excursions and under the in his room no one truly knew what he was doing originally then when then he would like when he was in there though he would sit at his table never used his bed when he went to sleep so he usually fell asleep there no one everyone thought he either got no sleep or three hours or less um everyone was trying to get to know him but due to the fact that he only went to his room and nowhere else, no one could truly get to know this person. So he was more of a loner. There was only one person that still kind of talked to him, which soon died and he got really sad about. But back to the room. While he is in the room, he paints or he draws. After the drafting of the army, he tended to draw a lot about a place where children were getting killed or used as slaves. And the reason why he related to that was because of when he was in the insane asylum, he was kind of treated that way. So after the, after the fact that he would think on that, he would start drawing things. And he would teach himself how to paint and use his own paints and mixtures. When he did this, he wrote, he ended up writing a 15,000 page book on the storyline. But he started off later on in his life. So the middle part of his life. Middle part of his life. He did the exact same things as before, and he just stayed through that job. And then he continued on. None still were funny. (laughs) And um, he would often have arguments inside of his room about the nuns talking because he never talked back due to the fact that when he was in the insane asylum, if you talked back, bad things would happen for you. It would be the worst punishments. So... So while he was in his rooms, people always thought he had like a big party going on, but really it was just him. And if you confronted him about this, he would like close up like a shell and like as soon as possible run off back to his room. And after after some time, he would go back to painting and he would draw these storylines with like a bunch of girls. And for some reason, he didn't know whether girls had guy parts or girl parts. And so... He would often draw them with guy parts, or with no clothes on, period. Because he always thought that that either it was a fact that they're innocent, or 
that it was a disciplinary thing because people were trying to get to them and hurt them. So while they're fighting this war against some people that hurt a bunch of children and kill children, they would continue on with the storyline. And he was the general in this. He switched sides during one point and he went to the bad side, but he came back. The ending of his life was close to the end. And when he back to like when he went to the end of his life, he started to see a bunch of other ways to paint and draw in mixtures and he started collecting more often too like rubber bands and yarn and stuff so when he did this he would often not use any in the paints that he had or the watercolors and everything he never really used them they were mostly not used he had a lot that were used but a lot that weren't used and he would paint he would draw continually again (laughs) that was his life and he was forced to retire and essentially, after the retirement, he just stayed in his room and he was miserable because he wanted to go outside and work still. Um, soon he was getting older and the only person he related to at this point was a dog. And he was asking how much the dog was. And it was $5 a month. He's like, I can't get that. So now he's all sad and clenched up. Then he starts to deteriorate his body and everything. And he has to go to um, a hospital where old people are. And when he was there, he he didn't want to do anything. He was sad. He was scared. Essentially, he left his life back where his room was. And people kept come, and then people came out to him and they were like, "Your room, it's amazing. The drawings, the paintings, the book, all of it." And so he just looked like. And then he went back to the reality where he's like, "Oh yeah, I can't do it now." So it's like, why even think on it? And then he ended up dying a couple days later. Thank you. Bye.